This is the tour video of Jamie Ansell's Chemistry 121 Canvas page. Canvas is the major way in which students interact with the online portion of this hybrid course. The page that you're looking at now is the home page and it includes a welcome message telling students about what the major goals of the course are and what the major assessments will be. There are a few links on the welcome page um, it, beginning with the online textbook, homework system, and quiz system that we use for the majority of the assessments in this class. There's also a link to the syllabus, which includes a lot of introductory information about the class. And there's also a link for the course schedule, a week-by-week -week list of all the assignments that are due and the topics that will be covered. As students scroll down on the home page, um, they'll see a general schedule for the whole week. I've provided this for students to help them organize their study time, giving them guidelines for what they should do each day of the week. So on Monday, they should complete assignments, the assigned textbook reading, and finish any online homework. Online homework are so due Monday nights. Tuesday, they come to class, and there are a few things they should do to prepare for class. On Wednesday, some of the students will participate in a Canvas discussion. On Friday, the rest of the class will participate in that Canvas discussion. And finally, on Sunday, students will take an online quiz assessing the information that they learned previously in the week. On the next week of class, they will start this rotation over again. If students scroll down just a bit more, um, they'll find a sentence about a checklist for what they can do to get started in the course, which is posted as an announcement. In addition to the home page, there is a list of links on the left hand side. Modules for the course include the major documents that students can download. If they click on it, uh, they'll first find important documents and pages. All of these are linked in the home page and in that getting started announcement. So students can find all of those documents right here. If they scroll down the in class activities that we do and the answer case we posted after class. And then also the lab handouts, which students are responsible for printing. Their first one needs to be printed by October 1st. So this page will get updated as we do more activities and more documents are given throughout the class. If you go to the announcements tab, students can see the very first announcement, the start here announcement, which includes a numbered list of things that they should do before attending class the first day. The first three are about opening up the home page and reading through it. Um, downloading the syllabus and reading that, and also clicking on the course schedule. Number four is about signing up for the online homework and quiz system. There's a document that students can download to teach them how to sign up for that online system. It also includes the three assignments for the first week of class, which are an introductions canvas assignment, an all about me survey, and information about when class meets face-to-face -face and what room. I have provided a few links to help students find some of those pieces of information, but also told them how to use the tabs on the side to find those things. Students can also click on the Assignments tab. That gives them a list of assignments that are coming up due, um, introductions, signing up for their online homework system, and a general lab safety quiz, along with the survey, are all due the first Friday of the first week. So it gives students about one week to get organized before assignments are actually due. And then the remainder of the homeworks, discussions, and quizzes all have due dates. The discussions tab has three discussions pinned at the moment. Introductions is all about students introducing themselves to their online classmates. The very first chapter discussion is also found here, along with an Ask the Instructor forum where students can post any questions they have and I will respond within 24 hours. There are directions in the Ask the Instructor discussion about how I respond to student messages and how quickly I do. Uh, there's also a gradebook that students can access and a list of all the quizzes. There's also a link to our on-campus library, the Holman Library, which has a lot of accessibility resources for students. And this is a tour of my online course. I welcome any feedback that you would like to share.